This lesson is an introduction to data and data types. Now, data is any bit of information that uh, we have, such as a name, an address, phone number. For the purpose of this exercise, I will be using Visual Fox Pro memory variables to demonstrate data and data types. If you're new to programming, a memory variable, or simply a variable, is a name storage area or name storage location in your computer's RAM. To create variables in Visual Fox Pro is uh, quite simple. All we have to do is type a variable name and assign a value to it. So I'm going to go ahead and create a few variables and then look at their types. So here I've gone ahead and created five memory variables. And as I've stated earlier, to create a variable in uh, Visual Fox Pro is as simple as typing the name of the variable and assigning a value to it. So, so uh, value to it. So we've got age, name, address, date of birth, and likes coffee. So all these, all this bit of information are related in some way, and in our next lesson we'll see how we can store uh, this information into uh, a data container known as a table. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and display the contents of memory by using the display memory command. And so this, this command displays all my memory variables. Um, we see that uh, this column here tells us the type of variable that we've created. You can ignore the pub for now. It simply means that our variable has public scope and uh, we'll come back to this when we actually start uh, looking at writing code in Visual Fox Pro and we want to scope our variables. So uh, we have age, assign it a, a literal value of 45 and Visual Fox Pro determined that age was a numeric type a numeric data type, and with that it means that we can do uh, calculations on the age variable, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, uh, raised to the power of, or exponentiation. Um, on name and address, Visual Fox Pro uh, determined that these two uh, variables were character types. Um, uh, the character type is used in Visual Fox Pro to store alphanumeric data. That is data, any, um, all the letters on your keyboard, including the uh, special characters, and even the numbers themselves, as we see here in the address, uh, in the address variable. Note that character data must be um, enclosed in quotation marks, as you've seen here. I use, uh, I could use a double as you see here, or the single quotation mark. And also there's another uh, delimiter as well, but I'll look at that later. Date of birth is a date type indicated by the letter D here, and Visual Fox Pro knows how to handle date types internally. And we'll, we'll take a closer look at that um, as we progress. Uh, Likes Coffee tells us something about James Cameron that um, he likes coffee, and the results, the, the value here is a logical true, and we represent logical values in Visual Fox Pro using a dot value dot. Now, there are only two values that can be represented um, with a logical type, dot t dot or dot f dot, representing false. So right now, what I'm going to do is to show you 
um, very briefly uh, some of the manipulations uh, um, that can be done with the various data types. And I consider these to be the standard uh, Fox row data types, numeric, the character type, the date type, and the logical type. There are variations of the character type. You'll see that there are variations of the numeric type. And there's another date type that we have, which is a date time um, type. But we'll get into that later on. So these are the fundamental types that we want to focus on right now. So given that age is numeric, I can print its value to the screen. Memory variables are directly accessible. So by printing age, Visual Foxpro will go and fetch the value 45 for me and display that to the Visual Foxpro desktop here. Because it's numeric, I can also multiply it. So if I double the age, asterisk is for multiplication, um, print age times 2, I get 90 there. I can also do further addition, plus 1, minus uh, 32 divide by 4. Let's see what we get with that contraction. Uh, 83. Okay, so all that, all these are all numeric operations that can be done on the age variable because its data type is numeric. Now, what if I were to attempt to add the address variable to age Clearly, Visual Fox Row should give me an error because a number is not the same as an alphanumeric or a character type. So let's see what Visual Fox Row does. And here we get the expected error, operand, operator operand type mismatch. And so Visual Fox Row is basically saying you have two different types here that cannot be operated on uh, as is. So we would either need to convert age to a number, to a, to a character type, or we would have to convert the address to a character type. And later on, we will look at data conversion. I will not um, show you that right now. Um, what I want to do next is to add name and address and see if that is allowed. So this is allowed in Visual Fox Pro, and what this is is referred to in programming circles is a string concatenation. So we don't have an addition as in a numeric sense. What we have is a combining of the two values within the separate variables producing one output. So name and address combined or concatenated gives us uh, a new string, which is both of them together. Now I can insert another uh, string here, which is an empty string or rather it's a space, there's a space in between these strings and I could print that to the screen and so that makes it a little bit more readable or better yet I could put a comma in there and then print and um, see the two components separately, so the name and the address components separately. For dates, we can do calculations on date, we can do additions and subtractions on date, so if I were to print date of birth plus 10 days I would get a new date, um, July 28th, um, 1964. Of course, you see if I add 18, sorry, 10 to 18, I would get 28. So the number I add here is actually a day number, and um, Visual Fox Row automatically knows how to to do additions on date. So I can do subtractions as well. And that will take me way back into June. I, I'm only allowed to do addition and subtractions on date. If I try to multiply, of course, Visual Fox Row will tell me data type mismatch. And likewise, if I try to divide. Coffee, uh, sorry, likes coffee tells me um, that if its value is true, that James likes coffee. If the value is false, then James does not, presumably likes coffee. And we'll see more of logical types. Um, I will only show you that we can do logical evaluations in FoxPro um, simply by typing um, an expression such as 5 uh, greater than 4 
and that is logically true. So visual phosphor will print the logical value true, dot t dot. And likewise, if I say print for greater than five, that's not true, and therefore it will print false. So um, we've taken a brief look at data and data type. We've looked at logical data, dot t dot. We've looked at date data, such as the date here, July 1864. We looked at um, string literals or character data, or simply strings in other um, programming circles, um, which Visual Fox Pro stores as a character type or calls a character type. And we've also looked at the numeric type um, using a literal number 45. Visual Fox Pro stores that as numeric. And we've seen what sort of calculations or sorry computations that we can do on a numeric type such as addition, subtraction, division, etc.